Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side. I hope you can hear me. It's really windy in Blackpool this morning. I'm on the bike again and I'm heading into town early on, just after seven o'clock. And I thought I'd head into town, show you what's going on. Thought I'd come out before the crowd while Blackpool's waking up. A bit more atmospheric, I think. Don't you think we're heading down Central Drive at the moment? Yeah, Central Drive, early on. I'll tell you what, it's a bit windy. If I sound out of breath, it's because I've been riding into the wind. You can hear the shutters blowing, yeah. We've got gale force and gusts. Yeah, so this is Central Drive. Early morning, before it lights up. Just over there was the site of the George pub there, can you see? That's where the George pub was, right there. I don't think they're ever gonna build anything there now, you know. Will Central Drive ever be like it used to be? I don't think it will be. I think it's, uh, it, it's been in decline for, it's probably been in decline ever since the knocked down central station and i can only really see it going into further decline to be honest before anything happens gentrification has been talked about there are projects to try and gentrify central drive there the old toilet set bethesda square underground toilets now, of course, all the underground toilets in Blackpool have all been shut up long ago. And it was all because of disability. You know, people with dis who are disabled can't get down. That's why all the disabled, that's why all the underground toilets were uh, done away with. I'm just gonna take a quick diversion down Chapel Street here. There's the King Edward pub there. And just next to the King Edward, just at the back, is where they're building this multi-storey car park. Look at this here, massive construction going on here. Look at this. You can see the old police station over there, by the way, which is, it will be demolished eventually when I have no idea. It could be years away. But this is where they're up to on phase one of this massive, 300 million pound complex, uh, the Central Entertainment uh, Quarter, I think it's called. Yeah, and this is the going to be the multi-storey car park. It's going to look quite fancy, actually. Yeah, I think they've got a lift shaft over there. Look, just by the, the right-hand side of the tower there. Yeah, so there you go. That's how they're doing with the multi-storey car park. Now let's carry on up Central Drive into town. Yeah, so this is the very top of Chapel Street where it meets Central Drive. We've got that uh, post office on the corner. Is it still a post office? I'm not sure. I've not been in there for a long time. But yeah, Central Drive, I think it has, well, it obviously has declined quite a lot over the past few decades. And I, I, I do think that it's, uh, it's only going to go even further. Yeah, so we're now heading up the final section of Central Drive. Now we're just going past the old picture hall on my left there. Great view of the tower. Lots of shuttered up shots over here, look. Look at that there. Whoa. Yeah, I can hear the wind rattling those shutters. And I think filming at this time in the morning, especially when it's windy, just get a little bit of atmosphere for the video and that's why I decided to come out. So over here is where the train used to come in. The trains used to come in here, Central Station. It was absolutely huge. Of course now it's a car park, massive car park. Heading into town. Coral Island is all lit up. But look at this. You're probably used to seeing this during the day when it's 
quite busy, especially in the summer. Pretty rammed around here. Yeah, but look at it now. A bit like a ghost town almost. Just over there we've got McDonald's of course, and McDonald's, I've mentioned it before, it's inside an Art Deco building, can you see? It's called the Edith Centre, that. And if you look on the top of that building, you'll see just to the right hand side, the right and left of the clock, there's uh, carvings of um, seagulls up there, yeah. So look out for that when you're next in Blackpool. Looks like we've got some people that have arrived over there, coming into Blackpool there. I am gonna carry on. Go past the McDonald's. Just over here, we've got a pound stretcher, which uh, is not open anymore. And just up here is where the Argos used to be, yeah? Which is now a job centre here, yeah? Look at this. This is where the Argos used to be. Remember that, Argos? It's now a job centre. And of course, up here, we've got the, uh, the former Debenhams. And it's all happening around the other side of here. Let's have a look, because it's where they're building the new cinema and the new Wilco store, just around the other side. Let's go and have a look. It's on Coronation Street. So this is Albert Road, just in case you weren't aware. And I'm going to turn left here onto uh, Coronation Street. And we'll check out this work that's going on for this new cinema. I'm going to go through this uh, barrier. I'm sure you don't mind. But yeah, there's the side of Debenhams there, or what used to be Debenhams. Got some cranes here, look, it's all going on here. Look at this up here now. Whoa, look at this. This is a new cinema and the new Wilco store, yeah? And apparently the cinema that it is, is the only one of its type, or the biggest, is it? Like a IMAX or something. Are they getting rid of the Odeon for this? There you go, look at that. Amazing. I think Colin showed this on his video, so you might want to check out Colin's video, Seaside. Yeah, so I'm just next to the Winter Gardens here. On this corner is where the entrance to the giant wheel in Blackpool was, right here. This was the entrance right here to the giant wheel. It went right across there. It was dismantled in 1929. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. We'll have another look up here from another angle. They're doing a bit of work on the Winter Gardens, by the look of it. Scaffolding up here. Let's have a look at this site from the other side. Check out that view of the tower. Doesn't it look absolutely awesome? Looking towards the Hounds Hill Centre there, because this is connected to the Hounds Hill Centre, of course. And this leads you up to the multi-storey car park, making Blackpool better, it says on the sign there. Lancashire Enterprise, Northern Powerhouse, yeah. This is it. This is where they're up to. Yeah, so this is the west entrance to the Winter Gardens there. And it's starting to wake up Blackpool now. There's a few people moving around. Got a lot of work people around. Probably heading off to carry on with that cinema and the wheel calls. Anyway, we're coming into the town centre proper now. We're coming onto Church Street and I'll make my way around to North Station area. We'll check out the progress on the tram depot. Just over there is um, a sealed off area over there, look, can you see? That's been sealed off for a long time. I wonder what's going on. Blackpool Barking Store, and have you noticed that store is inside quite a fancy building? 1930s building, tiled. Reminds me a little bit of Feldman's Arcade on the, on the uh, promenade. But here's a little look down Church Street. Someone's sleeping rough over there. It's actually quite windy, but it's not cold. It is not cold at all. So it's not been a bad night tonight for anyone that's uh, unfortunate enough to be on the streets. Another chap here, look. Yeah. 
So I think it seems like he's been spoken to by a couple of plain clothes uh, police in. Uh, so we're now coming into St John's Square and that church over there used to be called St John's but it's now called the Blackpool Church. Yeah, it's just called the Blackpool Church that there, yeah. And here's a little look down Abingdon Street. Of course, on the right hand side, we have Abingdon Street Market, which has not been open for, well, since it started to refurbish it. And I don't know when it's going to open, to be quite honest. It's in the same building where the old Blackpool Police Station used to be. That's the entrance there to the police station. The old Blackpool Police Station before it moved to South King Street, I believe, yeah. Yeah, so that's looking back towards the Winter Gardens on the north entrance. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something a little bit different that I've not done before. I'm going to head down Cheapside. Yeah, this is a proper road. It's not an alleyway. It looks like an alleyway. There's a, a wine bar there called The Nook. How about that, eh? Yeah, so this is Cheapside. I don't think I've ever been down here doing a video, but it's probably uh, <laughs> it's full of wheelie bins. And it smells a bit. Yeah, so a little look down Cheapside for you. We're gonna come out at Corporation Street, close to the Town Hall. And then what I'll do is I'll take a right into Talbot Square and then I'll head up Talbot Road and we'll find out what's going on with the, uh, the new tram station. This is obviously a very busy part of town where, well, most people get the buses. The buses come round here. They tend to terminate in this area here. Okay, there's the old town hall there. We're now in Talbot Square and it's around about half past seven now. It's starting to get a little bit lighter now. I'll show you around here. Looking towards the Clifton Hotel over there, which is now the Four Shores Hotel. Down towards the promenade, of course, over there, the north pier. Just over here, we've got the Counting House pub, very popular. And over here, we've got the old Royal Bank of Scotland building, which has been turned into Airbnbs. You might want to check those out if you're coming to Blackpool. Just over there is the Trilogy Nightclub, formerly Home at HQ, Rumours and Jenks. And of course, just round here is the new Premier Inn Hotel, which is on the site of the old Yates's Wine Lodge, of course. Yeah, it's starting to get uh, a bit noisy now, a bit of road rage going on actually, yeah. <laughs> this early in the morning here in Blackpool, we're heading up Talbot Road now, I'm heading along the tram tracks of course which were laid years ago for the uh, trams to come up to the new station, connect up with North Station because we're past that church there, I think it's called Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart Church there. Just at the left of, oh sorry, on the right hand side of Sacred Heart is a shop called The Repository and it's got that yellow film in the window, you know that film that blocks the sunlight. You don't see that anymore, do you? I used to see that back in the olden days and it made all the shop look orange inside or yellow, like a really deep yellow. Yeah, so. This is what it's like in Blackpool, just as it's waking up. Heron Foods has got a delivery. Just coming up to the corner now, where Mark Kelly is. I think it's going to be pretty quiet around here now. At the moment, you can see over there, that's where the uh, trams go in over there. You can see the hotel, the Holiday Inn. Yeah, it's really taking shape now. Yeah, so this is Mark Kelly's North. It all seems to go on here at night, yeah. And you'll probably notice it just over there. They've fenced it all off. You know that under the roof section there? It's all been fenced off. And that's to keep out the beggars and the, the homeless people there, yeah, because they used to congregate under there, yeah. So anyway, here's a little look at the... Uh, it's 
So here's a look at the uh, the development going on here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll have a ride around and we'll have a, a look all the way around and we'll see what it's like, shall we? But this is where the trams will go in, right there, yeah. So, just heading round now. And they put a new face on the side of this hotel here. They put these fancy uh, tiles on the side of it, like fake bricks or something. Yeah, Colin covered that in his video. So, if you watch Colin's videos, he shows a lot more stuff in a lot more detail than I do. But this is the Talbot Gateway, yeah. It's called the Talbot Gateway. That's what this area is called. And the project is still ongoing with the tram station and the new Wilco store. And now I'm just coming up to North Station. Who remembers North Station when it used to have that grand frontage on Dixon Road? Yeah, well, here's how it looks now. North Station. It's really taking shape now, isn't it? It's looking like a hotel now. Looks a bit prettier than that monstro monstrosity of a store, the Wilco store, doesn't it? We used to be fine there, yeah. That brutalist building, yeah. Okay, I've actually come right down to the entrance of North Station and what I want to do is I want to have a pan round here just to give you an impression of if you ever come to Blackpool on the train and you come to North Station, this is what you come out to. So we've obviously got the Sainsbury's over here. It's a whole lot different to it did more than a decade ago, yeah? It's a bit like an airport, doesn't it? Over there, we've got the new council offices. Lots of glass around. And just over there, you see that crane? This is the back behind that crane. That used to be the car park and the bus station. It's still a car park, but it's, it's obviously got a new face on it now. New fancy glass face. And of course, this is the, the holiday in there from down here. So there you go. That's how it looks from the entrance to North Station. Okay, I'm now heading out to North Station and uh, I'm going to head back through town again. Let's have a look at a little bit more, shall we? Oh, hear, hear that wind. Wow, it's coming right at me again, yeah. I've just found some more derelict properties here in Blackpool. Look at this in the town centre. This, this block here, look at this. Wow. On the borders up there, look at that. I wonder what's going to happen with these. You just wonder, don't you, whether whoever owns these buildings is waiting for a compulsory purchase order so that the council will buy them and then build some fancy office block on there. I don't know, but it doesn't look very good, that. No. Right, let's take a look around the back of Funny Girls. Previously the Odin Cinema, of course. And we'll take a little look along this side. It's about quarter to eight now. It's getting, it's getting lighter, but it's a little bit kind of murky today, actually, to be honest. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a very, very bright day, but here's a look inside, just to give you an idea of, still a lot of work to do. Okay, I'll carry on now. Down Queen Street, there's a flying handbag there. And chaos. We're gonna head down Queen Street and I'm gonna head towards the promenade where I'll finish this video. I think it's gonna be a bit breezy. You know how I mentioned that job centre on Albert Road before? Well, this building here is a purpose-built job centre that they built. I can't remember now. It's on the site of an old Sunday school, I think. Uh, yeah, there used to be a Sunday school on this site. Yeah, but they built it about 15, 20 years ago or something like that. And now look at it. It's been empty for years. Yeah, 
blame the government, not the council, or blame the DWP, should we say. Over there is a tattoo parlour, used to be Caves Corner. Looking down Queen Street there, and just over here are another block of buildings that are derelict, but one of them is being done up. Now those have been derelict for a long time. And of course, just behind me, we've got the, one of the grandest buildings in Blackpool, the Central Library. I tell you what, what a bloody racket that bus was, and that van. <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty noisy now here in Blackpool. It's waking up, we've got trucks and making a noise. We've got buses making a racket, bin wagons, delivery vehicles. And now on Queen Street, I'm going to head down towards the Metropole Hotel. We'll have a little look on the promenade. I tell you what, I think I might get blown away. Very quiet down here at the moment. Can you hear that wind coming right at me now? Oh, I think the tide's in as well. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Can I make it? Or will the wind defeat me? Hey, we're there. Yeah, so there's a Metropole Hotel there. Of course, the Metropole Hotel has been closed for more than a year now because it's uh, full of um, refugees. I believe they're from like, Afghanistan. I've just seen some come out of there. Anyway, I'm going to head down to the... Oh, my goodness, this wind is incredible. Princess Parade, this. Princess Parade, should I say. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, I might bump into old Blackpool Biker down here. What do you think? It's the right time. First thing in the morning. Let's have a look around, shall we? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, that is pretty wild out there. Look at that. Okay, I've come down for a closer look. Check this out. Oh my goodness, look at that. Hey. Who'd want to go and have a swim in that today? Anyway, I hope you like this little tour of Blackpool early in the morning. I've taken it along Central Drive. I took you into the town and we finished up here looking at the angry Irish Sea. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.